Hey y'all, hope everyone's doing well. Uh, my name is Spencer and I'm an engineer at Talos Systems. Um, we just cut our 0 0.9 release of Talos, uh, the beta release of Talos 0 0.9 and I was wanted to take a quick second to do a little speed round of installing Talos on a Raspberry Pi. Um, seems to be something our community has been pretty interested in. Uh, so I wanted to take a second to, to kind of walk through how that's done. I'll go ahead and share my screen and we'll get started. Uh, first and foremost, this is the Talos release page. So check it out. It's github.com slash Talos dash systems, uh, Talos. And so head to the releases. You'll see our beta, our new beta release that got cut just a couple of hours ago. Um, and down in the release assets, you can see that there is a metal RPI4 image here. Um, there's a whole bunch of images that you can, especially the metal ones for various SBCs. If you've got other ones you'd like to play around with, they should work well for you as well. Uh, but the RPI4 is the one we'll be downloading today. So if you want to go ahead and scoop that up, I've already got it downloaded locally um, just because I'm on a, a little bit of a limited bandwidth, but uh, we'll go ahead and pull that down and, and get started. So with that image at hand, um, the first thing I'll do is I will decompress it with XZ. Um, and I'll pass the dash D flag to decompress. And then I will give it the metal RPI uh, ARM64 image. So that won't take but just a second to decompress. Um, and then it'll be ready for flashing onto our SD card. So I've got a little SD card mounted up here locally. Um, you want to check that out. Um, this is my SDC. It's mounted as SDC, but um, it's a little 16 gig SD card. <sighs> and I'll be installing Talos to this. So I'm gonna use DD for this, which is just a very you know basic command line tool you probably know if you're a Linux user. Um, you can totally use Bolina Etcher um, or you know one of the other flashing GUI tools if you want. Uh, but I, I'm gonna go ahead and do this uh, with DD. So I'm gonna do a DD input file is equal to the metal RPI image. And the output file will be equal to dev SDC. So that's going to go ahead and uh, flash this image onto this SD card. Um, and so that's going to take, yeah, it doesn't take long. This is a USB 3 uh, connection, so it should be pretty quick. But uh, while we're waiting on that, I'll go ahead and tell you a little bit about this 09 release. So it, it's pretty awesome. It's got a ton of new features in it. Um, one of the ones I'm really excited about is us, us moving from boot cube and a self-hosted control plane to fully static pods that are managed by Talos itself. So um, that got us away from a bunch of the kind of gripes we had with self-hosting and, you know, problems we had around upgrades. So this should make upgrades a lot more stable in the, in the long term. And it, it allows us to do coordinated Kubernetes upgrades uh, via Talos CTL. So, you know, check out the docs and, and play around with that. It's, it's pretty awesome stuff. Uh, the other one I'm really super excited about is, is the move from RSA keys to easy DSA keys. Um, that speeds up almost everything in Talos. Um, so if you've done a Talos CTL cube config before and it's taken you a little time <clears throat> for, for that to come back and return, that's no longer a problem. It's, it's super fast. It, it generates keys really quickly now. Um, and then we've got a couple of more, more experimental features like disk encryption and virtual IPs. Uh, for folks who want to run HA but don't have, you know, uh, a DNS server with uh, health checking or, uh, you know, a hardware load balancer or something like that. So give that stuff a, a look and, and try it out. Okay, so back to our terminal here. Um, we went ahead and written this image to disk. So I'm going to pull it out and pop it into my Raspberry Pi. Um, and I will show you something kind of cool here. So... I'm gonna open VLC. I bought this little USB HDMI capture device. Um, and it's been really cool to be able to just kind of plug in the HDMI out for my Raspberry Pi um, and just check it out at VLC. So I've inserted the SD card. It's got Talos uh, pre-installed. And then, so now I'm just gonna flip this guy on and we'll see some output. So what this is gonna do is it will boot into um, maintenance mode, what we call maintenance mode, because there won't be a full Talos machine config yet. Uh, so that will boot into maintenance mode and it will wait for further information to say, okay, it's time to, you know, how do I need to configure myself? How do I need to install or Kubernetes and all that good stuff? So uh, we'll wait on this to boot up and then we will hit the um, <clears throat> hit the interactive installer to, uh, to finish configuring this. 
And it shouldn't take but just a second here um, to go ahead and boot this up and get to that point. Once it actually starts booting Linux kernel, it, it's it's very fast uh, to get to the, the output that we're looking for. So it looks like still booting up a few little kernel things. Um, okay, so there's Talos coming up. That's good. And networking now. So we're getting close here. Okay. So this is the output we're looking for, this, this load config task. And it's a little hard to read. Um, but what you can see, what I'm specifically interested in is this section here, right? Where you have the Talos CTL apply config uh, interactive mode. And it's got the IP there for us. So that's the one we're going we're gonna to check out. So uh, I'm going to run Talos CTL apply config interactive um, that node I'm going to use dash again as a shorthand 192.168.2.199 um, and I'm going to pass the insecure flag because again this is maintenance mode and it's waiting on a config so it has no way to you know, secure itself with keys or anything like that um, so if you haven't seen this this is our interactive installer it's super cool it's really easy to use um, you can just go ahead and say okay here's the block device the you know the SD card that I've got inserted um, that I want to use to install and then I'll just go to next and I'll say that you know kind of leave these default I am gonna say I'm gonna allow scheduling on my masters because there's only one master node um, and that's the only node in this cluster so you know if we want to run workloads we might as well allow scheduling <laughs> and then the last thing I'll do is give this a little host name uh, I'll call it my rpi and then I'm gonna leave everything else pretty much default because you know this is a, a quick quick run through. So uh, we'll hit install. You can see that was really quick to go ahead and create a Talos config file for us. Um, and you can see kind of on the right, it, it injected that config and it's off to the races. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and press any key to exit. And then I will say Talos CTL D message. And I'm gonna follow that um, again, passing that node flag. And we'll see kind of where we are if the API is up yet. So looks like it's preparing and running now. So it'll pass the health check in just a hot second. And then we should have D message output. So there's our health check and D message is there and running. Um, so what we're waiting on now is for, for Talos to bootstrap to Windows for us. Um, that's going to take a minute for me. Uh, simply because I am working with limited bandwidth right now. Um, actually working for my in-laws and you know dealing with the uh, a little bit of a slower connection than usual so I'm gonna actually probably pause the screen and I'll come back when everything's kind of up and running and we'll talk through what happened uh, so I'll see you in just a second alrighty folks it has been oh let's see eh. About six, seven minutes. I think we left off at this etcd preparing uh, when I took a little break while images pulled and stuff. It uh, looks like we have all the images pulled now and the Kubernetes control plane is indeed aligned. Um, it's trying now to label this node as a master and kind of going through the process of waiting for Kubelet to register and all that good stuff. So um, what I'll do is I'm gonna open up, uh, I'll just go ahead and kill this and I will do a Talos CTL deep config. Um, Again, giving that node flag to 199, and then um, I'm going to patch the dash f flag just in case I already have a cube config that matches this context, and I'll go ahead and just force overwrite that. Um, so with that in hand, I can now do a kubectl get nodes, and looks like we are at least registered, um, waiting on ready status there. Uh, so we should be getting pretty close here. Um, again, you know, it's a Raspberry Pi, it's a little limited, uh, plus my internet connection is, you know, not great right now, so I'm not terribly surprised it's taking a second. Um, and so there we go, we're ready now, which is great. Um, so we're all up, ready to roll, um, QCTL, get PO, let's check out all of our pods, make sure things are coming online, I'm sure it's pulling some images and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so, you know pulling in flannel and, and doing the initialization there, cute proxy and core DNS. Um, but our node is up and ready and ready to receive workloads. So that's awesome. Um, so I'll do a quick 
teleCTL uh, dashboard as well, just to kind of show that uh, here's what's going on on this on this Raspberry Pi, um, which is pretty cool stuff. Uh, it's a nice, quick way to kind of see everything that's going on in your system, um, you know, as well as your you know memory usage and, and CPU usage and all that good stuff as as things are coming online. So. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, that's that's a fully bootstrapped uh, Raspberry Pi uh, with Talos and Kubernetes and, a, you know, subtracting image pulls, maybe about three or four minutes. Um, you know, I think that's a, a pretty awesome, pretty awesome little testament to uh, the progress we've made in 09 um, with Talos. And one other kind of final thought here, I know that we've had some folks that want to run Telos on off of an SSD that's attached to the Raspberry Pi with uh, via USB 3.0, right? So that that's a pretty common use case we've seen as well. Um, those folks are going to have to hold on just a second. Um, the 0 0.10 alpha release will contain a newer package of U-Boot that will solve all your issues there. Uh, if you've tried that out, you, you've seen that um, Telos wasn't picking up these USB devices. So that's, that's going to be fixed in the first alpha, which should release here in a few days. Uh, probably by the end of the week. So hopefully the folks who are dying for that feature can get started there as well. Um, and so that's it. I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed and I hope you have fun hacking on uh, Talos and Kubernetes on your Raspberry Pi. Take care.